What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross, back at it again with another video. So, I have an article that uh, I think is gonna be something that we can definitely have a conversation about and it sparked some type of debate in the wrestling uh, community for this year, well next year's upcoming Royal Rumble and who should be the winner. So we're gonna get into this article by Sports uh, Kita, man. Uh, once again, take this with a grain of salt. Things probably may not go the way this article may be predicting, but you never know. That's the great thing sometimes about wrestling and the wrestling season, uh, WrestleMania season is you never know. There's a lot of rumors and you never know which one will be true, which one won't be. But WWE fans upset after 50 year old star is rumored to win the 2023 Royal Rumble match and face Roman Reigns. So we got to talk about this. Let's get right into this one. WWE plans for the Royal Rumble in WrestleMania 39 may uh, have become apparent with Roman Reigns finally set to get his dream match. The Tribal Chief's cousin, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, might win the annual 30-man melee in 2023. This has led to mixed reaction among fans on Twitter. Dave Meltzer reported in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that WWE has discussed the idea of the Great One returning at November 30th uh, at the, the, the returning at the number 30 spot and winning the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match. While it's a rumor for now, the magnitude of it will shape the entire road to WrestleMania. The general response on Twitter is that Roman Reigns vs. The Rock does not need both world titles. Fans would like to see the current undisputed WWE uh, Universal Champion drop one of the belts so the Hollywood star doesn't need to win the Royal Rumble to challenge Reigns. Multiple ideas have been floated, including alternative winners and the tribal chief entering the, the rumble himself. The popular choice is to win. The popular choice to win is Cody Rhodes, who is also expected to return at the January event. Other fans fear that The Rock winning the 2023 Royal Rumble match would backfire on him and WWE. Man, and this is an interesting. Uh, I guess you can say. Uh, interesting topic a lot of people are trying to figure out and speculate who should win the royal rumble this year me personally if i had to give my own opinion i i love the rock i will always have a special place in my heart for the rock but personally i don't think it should happen the reason why it shouldn't happen and what some people are probably saying on social media and i've seen some people talk about this you don't need the Rock in the Royal Rumble to win the 30th, to get the 30th spot and win it. You don't need that for him to face Roman Reigns. I mean, at the end of the day, that story sells itself. It's family. This is a family situation. Roman Reigns thinks he is the head of the table when it comes to the Samoan wrestling family. The Rock, he's already established himself as the guy in just all of like <laughs> movies entertainment and he was the guy in wrestling when he was wrestling on a full-time basis so it really comes down to them building that story trying to tell that story you don't really need the royal rumble to even do that you don't need that match to even set that up honestly i would probably still go with cody rhodes because i think <clears throat> you <clears throat> excuse me i think you can tell a really good story there him trying to have that redemption come back from injury he is also part of a wrestling family lineage i think you could really go with that situation and cody would be the ultimate underdog cody would be a very good uh, uh well he would be a, an a underdog in this situation because of the overwhelming odds stacked against him when the bloodline going against <clears throat> Cody Rhodes. Now, some of you guys would probably be like, oh, maybe Sami Zayn. And I think they're going to probably set up something with Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. I believe uh, there's rumors of saying it, it may be Sami versus Roman at Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber is supposed to be taking place in Sami's hometown. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure that there'll probably be some type of storyline with that, but I think Sammy and Kevin Owens will probably go, go after the tag team titles at WrestleMania. So, 
I think he's going to be tied up there. I know a lot of you guys would love for Sammy to be the guy to dethrone Roman. I wouldn't even have a problem if they pulled an audible, but I think they're going to go back with Cody. And I think the fans will still either way be entertained here. Um, <clears throat> could I see the fans turning on this whole angle if The Rock was to come out at 30? Here's the thing. If The Rock came out at 30, I'm not going to lie to you. I would pop. I would mark out. It's the fucking rock. I think everyone that will be in that stadium at the Royal Rumble in San Antonio next year, they would lose their shit. I think some people on social media will feel some type of way only because it's like, damn, bro, you gave that 30th spot to someone that's not even going to be here for the after WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? So I get the positives and the negatives. Yes, it would be a big moment. We already know who will win, but the negatives here is you kind of take away that potential spot from somebody else, especially in the situation of like Cody coming back. If Cody's in the Royal Rumble, which I hope he's able to be, I think a lot of people will want Cody to win that spot. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe a Bray Wyatt. Who knows? They, they have options. I think me personally, it's just you don't need the Royal Rumble win to set that match up. You don't. Honestly, if you want to be frank, the titles don't even have to be on the line to set that match up. Granted, I know probably one of the titles will be on the line, so I don't know if how they're going to do this. Maybe, and what I'm thinking, and some people have said this before, I'm thinking Roman wrestles both nights. Roman pulls double duty. Roman shows that, you know what? I am WrestleMania at this point. So you know what? I'm going to show y'all how cold I really am. I'm wrestling a main event in both nights. You're paying to come see me. I've done these two night events. I've been the main event for night two. You know what? No one's going to steal my shine this year. I'm going to show y'all why I'm the greatest champion ever in wrestling. And I'm going to wrestle on both nights. And I'm going to win on both nights. And his arrogance and his bravado will be his downfall. That would be his downfall right then and there. It'll be his arrogance that gets the best of him. And I think maybe night one, you set up something with Cody Rose. Have Cody Rose win. Now Roman's in this spot, in this state, where he's like, oh, I'm, you know what I'm saying? He's he's kind of, he now he's like, yo, I'm, I haven't lost in years. I haven't eaten a pin in years. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? So now he's a little bit desperate. Maybe he can have the match with The Rock. Ultimately, he, he ends up beating The Rock. I think whatever match, even if the titles are not involved, Roman facing The Rock, The Rock will lose. It just doesn't make sense for The Rock to win that match. He's not going to be there. It'll just be like the passing of the torch, and it'll probably be The Rock's final match ever in wrestling. So either way, the Roman's winning, so you can have him still hold the Universal Championship and have him beat The Rock or something like that, or I don't know. I don't know there's there's ways to go about it it'll be interesting but once again me personally if you want to just have him go against i honestly would love the titles to not be on roman by then but i know they're probably going to keep it on roman i mean he's not losing it so they're going to most likely keep the titles on him at wrestlemania or up until wrestlemania i personally would love for him to lose them and then go after the rock but i know it's the titles have become a part of his gimmick of being the head of the table. You can't say you're the head of the table and you don't have the championships or at least one of them. So I'm thinking they're probably, they'll find a way to get the rock inserted. I just hope they don't have to use the Royal Rumble. Um, I hope they don't have to use the Royal Rumble the last spot or give the rock the Royal Rumble win in, in order to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. This is it's, it's one of those things where it's, it is there's many avenues and it's it's kind of exciting to really have this discussion. So I want y'all opinion down below. How do you guys think this is gonna play out? Would you guys be okay with The Rock coming back and winning the Royal Rumble, or would you prefer that storyline to just be set up? outside of the royal rumble and that can happen regardless and how would you set that up would you want roman to be the champ going into wrestlemania to face the rock or would you want roman reigns to not be the champ have him drop the titles and still face the rock let me know how does this play out for you guys and you know comment down below we can have that discussion love having these discussions and seeing you guys comments 
on this situation, man. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Triple H has in store for us at the Royal Rumble next year. But I appreciate all the love and support, man. Roll to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.